we are Leroy Mwangi and Robert O'Day and we'll be showing you how to safely operate a manual milling machine. We will be going over general lab safety procedures, uh, the location of the mill, components of the mill, where you can find the tools for the mill, how to set up the mill, how to load the tool, how to fix your part, how to operate the mill, and how to clean up after machining your part. First, we'll go over general safety. In order to work in any machining lab or facility, you will be required to wear your safety glasses or goggles, full length pants, and closed toed shoes, as you can see in the examples shown. There are four mills located between the CNC machine and the lathes in the machining lab, as shown in this image. Next, we'll go over the components of a mill. As you can see in this picture here, the knee elevating crank, which is the, the Z axis control, is found to the lower left. The Y axis feeding handle is found in the center and the X axis feeding handle is found on either end of the table. The speed control is found on the top of the head and then just below that is the downfeed lever. On the mills in our lab is a very similar layout. To set the height or Z axis, you use the knee elevating handle that is found in the front and slightly below the work table. The feed handle is used to move the work table along the Y axis and can be found by the knee elevating handle just above it. The table feed handle is also located on either end of the table as shown in the previous picture. And the spindle speed controller, motor direction control are both located on the head of the mill. The on off switch is located at the base, you can find some of the cutting tools, uh, mounting tools for the mill to the right of the mill. Next, we'll show you how to set the mill up. Before you are ready to start cutting your material, you want to first make sure that your spindle speeds and feed rates are all set correctly for the tool and material choices you make. This here is how you change the spindle speed on the mill. One thing to note is that the spindle must be spinning or on, in other words, in order to change the spindle speed. To load any tool into the mill, you must make sure that it is turned off. Take the tool, take whatever tool that you have and put it underneath the collet. To the left of the mill is a small control box with three buttons, one green and two red. Press the green button and the upper in button, which is red, and this will pull up the tool and lock it in place. Now that the tool is loaded, and you have your machine settings in order, a workpiece needs to be fixtured so that you can do your cutting and make your part. To do this, first open the vise which is found on the table and place your part in between the jaws. To improve accuracy and ensure the flatness of a part, you could use parallel bars as he showed in the beginning here. Do not over tighten your part to avoid damaging the surface or offsetting the part, especially if working with a material such as aluminum. Once your tooling and part are loaded, touch up the part so that the tool leaves 
a slight indentation on the part and set that height as zero. Move the part away from the tool using the knee elevating crank. Turn on the mill and raise your part to the, to the described uh, depth of cut. Now raise the chip guard if your mill has one. If cutting, you can either manually feed the you can either manually feed the part or use the auto feed feature to perform your cut. If drilling. Use the knee elevating handle to raise or lower the part into and away from the tool. Continue the process until the part is to spec. Clean off any burrs using the, bur uh, the deburring tool or a file and clean off the chips using a chip brush. Once your part has been machined, remove the part and the tool from the mill and return the tool to its proper location. Remove the chips off the mill using a chip brush and then sweep off the chips off the floor and place them in an appropriate container, usually by sweeping them into a dustpan and putting them into a proper material container. 